Hey, what's up, YTBC? It's Big John coming back at you, baby, for another coffee and conversation. Wanted to take a brief chance today, uh, reflecting a little bit, sitting back, uh, think about things over a nice pipe. Got my new Brebbia Dublin, gifted mm -hmm. to by Derek's Pipes and Cigars. Absolutely beautiful pipe. Smoking some Former's Private Flake in it right now, which is some delicious, delicious stuff. Drinking a little Cafe Bustello. Good, beautiful Cuban coffee. I was thinking about today, a topic of conversation, and what kept coming up in my head was breeding contempt. Um, have you ever heard the statement that familiarity, 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 familiarity breeds contempt? Meaning the more you know about someone, the more likely, in this statement, the more likely you are to be more critical of them or be scornful or don't like them because of the more you learn about them. On the other side of that, talking too much. As a man in this day and age, over the past, I'd say probably like five to 10 years, where there's been this huge push. Oh, they get your feelings out there. Tell everybody what you feel. Now they're pushing men to tell everybody what they feel. Now they tell men that everything that comes out of their mouth is offensive. Huh. If you want to know what I feel, and then I tell you and I'm honest, I ain't gotta be hateful about it, but if I tell you and I'm honest, then we can discuss it. But you might not like the outcome. But getting back to talking too much. Breeding contempt around you can cause some of the problems we as men face in our own homes and around us in life at work. And we might not even know it. We might not even know we're doing it. The old adage to keep your mouth shut and keep your ears open is one that I think in 2020 needs to be adhered to more. One of my favorite movies of all time is The Godfather. You know, Michael Corleone, multiple times in the film, tells some of his family members never to go outside of the family. Don't ever tell anybody what you're thinking outside of the family. Well, I consider my closest friends to be like family. And not everybody in his family was actually blood relatives. There were some people outside his family, actual blood family, that was in their crime syndicate. So if you think like that, not to talk too much outside of your down to earth, 10 toes down brothers and sisters, the people that are down for you people that you can vent to. The thing is about venting, everybody feels that they have this right to vent to anyone at any given time. Oh, it's okay, I was just venting. You were venting to the wrong person. It's okay to vent to your boy. It's okay to vent to your best friend. It's okay to vent to somebody inside of your family. But don't vent at work. Don't vent to somebody where you know they're gonna run their mouth. That goes back to the point of breeding contempt. You sit up here, you're talking too much, you're not listening. And the whole time you're bad mouthing people around you and your family, boyfriends, girlfriends, family members, things like that. I'm telling you right now, as a person in this life right now, the first thing that turns me off to a person is how they talk about their family outside, 
outside work, you know, work and in the street. Somebody sitting up there talking bad about their own family. Now, I'm not saying family's perfect, and I'm not saying that you have to like them, but don't set yourself up by breeding contempt and set up people around you, your friends, not to like that girlfriend or that wife or that particular family member. Or for me, not to like my sister's boyfriend or whatever the case may be. See, that, that shit comes back to haunt us and it comes back on us. We sit up here venting, thinking, oh, it's okay. And we're feeding other people's minds the whole time with all this stuff about the people that we love. And then one day, that familiarity breeds contempt. One day that person jumps up and tells you the truth about yourself or about that person that's been doing you wrong the whole time because in their mind, they're getting to know you more. So in their mind, if you're asking them for the truth, they're gonna hit you with it. And then you're gonna hate them for it. It's gonna happen. Why is it that most of the time when you have family occasions or big family get togethers, there's always somebody that just can't get along? Is that your fault? Is that their fault? I think most of the time we gotta take a look in the mirror and say, hey, did I plant the seeds of this contempt for myself? I'm not saying all, you always do. Now, mind you, I'm talking to myself just as much as anybody else out there. So don't feel I'm being judgmental. But did you plant them seeds of contempt around you and now you're watching them grow and now you're trying to act like the innocent victim in this situation? Hmm. I don't know. YTPC, it's something to chew on. Keeping your mouth shut and keeping your ears open. Not saying you can't talk about your feelings. Talk about your feelings with the right people. Don't go off and vent when you're mad about your girlfriend or your wife. Don't go off and vent to another female about that. Come on now. Women, the other way. When you mad at your husband, you mad at your boyfriend, don't go off and vent to another dude. Because as a dude, I'm telling you, I, that's, that's a lion smelling blood. <laughs> Shit, you just brought a you just brought a gazelle to a lion. And we see that weakness and we smell it. And you can smell it in other people. Don't breed or plant contempt around yourself. Be more mindful. Smoke your pipe. Think things out when you have a problem. Don't be so rush to judgment and so quick to throw your feelings out to the world now I'm not saying you don't need to get them off your chest I said it before but be mindful when you do it and also have other respect family in mind when you do it it makes for an easier life And it also calms down drama around your household. Well, I appreciate you, YTPC. Thanks for coming out, chilling with me, having a little cup of coffee, thinking about some things. We're gonna have a couple more other, other little uh, manhood topics. All these things are things that are in my head. Just happen to be thinking about them. my experiences in life 
and what I would like to see a younger man, hopefully out there in the YTPC or YouTube or wherever, see this and think about some of the things that I'm talking about. Because I'm no philosopher. And not everything I say is 100% accurate. Oh, go YouTube is not 100% accurate. You tell lies. No, I'm not perfect. But I'm trying to be better. And that's all we can do. So YTPC, I'm out. I holla at you. Peace. Stay safe. As always, baby.